with Steve Frederick to talk about satellite strategy. Now, satellite poker started about 20 years ago at the World Series, so players didn't have to buy into the events for the full amount. Now, there's two kinds of satellite poker, and Steve's going to explain to us what the two of them are. Well, they're single table, of course, and it's a shootout format when one person's eliminated, they're gone, they don't replace them, and then multi-table uh, satellites. Okay, so how exactly is satellite play different than regular tournament play? Well, in a regular tournament, you're looking to uh, be very, very patient, last a long time, you have a, usually a deep stack in front of you, and in uh, satellite play, you usually limited very small amount of chips, things happen a lot quicker. Um, and I think it's very important to uh, approach it in a different way. And so you need to be very aggressive, but it's controlled aggression. Okay. So how does survival come into play in a satellite? Well, uh, the mathematics is simple. Uh, it's much tougher to go through a ten-handed field than a five-handed field. So I, I try to be really patient at the beginning. Uh, hopefully a few people get eliminated because it's much more, you know, it's much easier to eliminate two or three people to win than to eliminate eight or nine people. Uh, it's also important because you're getting a limited amount of chips to, uh, you know, there's one or two hands you're in and all of a sudden you're low stacked. So it's very important to be patient and then put it in at the right time. So last year, 2006, how many tournaments did you play in and how many did you satellite into versus buy into? Well, I played in a whole bunch of them, almost all of them, uh, and I only bought into two of them. I bought into the Bay 101 and I bought into one of the Bellagio, the Bellagio Cup 2 events. So how many satellites do you think a player should play? Say that there's a $10,000 tournament they want to get into, they're playing $1,000 satellites, and they've played six and they haven't gotten in yet. Do you think it's a good idea to continue playing satellites at that point, or is there a time when they should just call it quits? I, I think at that point you should call it quits. Um, I, I like to play two or three of them and then uh, decide whether or not I want to continue or buy in. Um, I have to admit, for the Bay 101, because I'm kind of a hometown uh, local boy, uh, I wanted to get in it, and I, I played about six of them before I finally uh, got in. So I got in 4000 cheaper than the buy-in, but a little bit more than I like to play. So in the bigger buy-in satellites, is it a good idea to start with the stronger starting hands just to make sure you do have that kind of edge against the players? No, I, I don't think it's that important. It, I think you weight the hands um, differently. For instance, ace-jack with ten-handed field is a very weak hand. Ace-jack on a three-handed field is a much stronger hand. I think more important, it's, it's, to, it's to go in at the right time. And I think early on, it's important to just not play those marginal hands. And then when there's less people and the uh, blinds are bigger, then I think it's important to put the chips in. So what would be your best advice for a player that wants to start satelliting into some of the bigger events? Well, uh, to begin with, I think that the best th thing about satellites is it teaches you final table experiences. Uh, when I um, finally made a final table, I w really wasn't intimidated because I've played hundreds of uh, satellites. I think it's a great way to learn how to win tournaments and learn how to win on the final table. I think it's good practice, and then I think, of course, it's a good way to save money to, to get in that way in into tournaments. So for a beginner, do you think it's a better idea to buy into a small buy-in satellite with a larger field versus a large buy-in satellite with a smaller field? Uh, I, I think it's important to uh, not spend a lot of money at the beginning to uh, spend as little as possible. So I think that the uh, lesser, uh, less expensive tournaments are probably the best way to go. Any other thoughts on satellite play in general? No, I, I think it's important, though, to become good at it because it really is, um, it teaches you how to operate on a final table. Because a final table is strategy, elimination of people, it's survival. It's not necessarily putting in your chips all the time with, the, with certain hands. Uh, and it's a great way to, to learn how to win at a final table. Great. Thank you very much, Steve. Thanks a lot. This is Lizzie Harrison with Steve Frederick for Card Player TV.